Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great, great day. It is Thirsty Thursday. Tomorrow's finally freaking Friday. Got some more work to do up there, and I think I'm going to be finished up with that job that's literally an hour and a half away, and I can't wait to get that done and relax this weekend. I'm still recovering from the draft trip where we got some hope as Dallas Cowboys. And we have, uh, it's been an interesting day. It's been kind of cray cray because YouTube's had a problem with uploading videos. And I'll be honest with you, people. I'm, I'll, I'll be 100% real. Um, YouTube is part of my daily routine. I wake up in the morning, I roll, roll on over, snuggle up with my boo. You know, we talk a little bit before we get up and things. I, I get in, uh, over here, turn on the computer. I go downstairs. I make my coffee. I do my morning video. And, you know, uh, it's not, that's, you know, some people stop right there. But, you know, that's not how we roll. We, we got to get stuff on here. And we've had stuff that's been going on, and I haven't been able to upload since about 5 o'clock today. YouTube's been having problems with processing. You upload and they'll say it'll be processing soon. And you just look at the thing, just spinning and spinning and spinning. So it seems to be finally working. I finally got a video up. And we have perfect timing now. Hopefully it'll continue to work. We have breaking news from the Dallas Morning News that Dak Prescott haters are going to hate. This is from the police. Do Popo. Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott won't face criminal charges related to a woman's accusations of a 2017 sexual assault. As police investigators found insignificant evidence to support the case, a police official told the Dallas Morning News on Thursday. In January, attorneys representing a Fort Worth woman sent an email to Prescott's requesting 100 million dollars in exchange for not disclosing or pursuing criminal charges related to her allegations according to a partial redacted court filing prescott responded may 11th by filing and announcing a hundred million dollar defamation lawsuit in collin county against the woman prescott is additionally pursuing criminal extortion charges in prosper where he lives the woman's name um the woman names Prescott as a defendant in Collins County lawsuit alleging sexual assault. The news does not typically name victims of sexual assaults. Unfortunately, it takes victims a while to come out, and that makes cases hard to prosecute, said Zola Zakari, uh, whatever his name is, uh, the accused attorney. But we thank, thank uh, Dallas Police Department for their efforts. But we thank Dallas Police Department for the efforts. However, we are still moving forward with our counterclaims. They have been giving us the runaround and setting a court date um, because their lawsuit was pure was a pure PR stunt. They know the truth and it will come out in the suit. Prescott has vehemently denied the woman uh, denied the woman's description of the interaction, and in March, court documents that Levi McLaren characterized her as heinous, as heinous, and with no basis in reality. Forgive me, I'm not a great reader, and I don't have glasses on because it's about this big. Dallas police said the interaction in question occurred February 2nd, 2017, in the parking lot of a Dallas strip club, uh, XTC Collaborate, where she worked. I want to thank Dallas Police Department and the Dallas County, Boys, uh, Dallas County uh, District Attorney's Office for their thorough investigation and allegations against Dak Prescott. McLaren said in a statement to the news, we, um, we know they would. They found nothing in their extensive exploration of the facts and would support a criminal prosecution. We are confident that at the end of the law enforcement investigation into the extortion case, that they will find the accuser and her attorney just as guilty as Dak Prescott is innocent. Wow. As I've said from the beginning, Dak is a great football player and an even better human being. He would never assault any woman. These false accusations were brought up seven years after the alleged events for one reason and one reason only, to line the pockets of the accuser and her attorneys. 
Their behavior is a front to those true survivors of sexual assault. The criminal statutes of limitation in Texas for sex crime against adults vary depending on the offenser's uh, severity. State law sets criminal statute of limitation in uh, Texas for sexual assault against adults for 10 years and civil statutes of limitation to five years. So there you have it. The police says there's no there there. There's nothing there. Sorry, we can't charge them anything. There's nothing there. Although, here's what I will say. Zeke Elliott situation. The police went through and they looked and they said, there's nothing here. There's no there there. Nothing there. The accuser went to the district attorney. They did an investigation and said, there's nothing there. In which case, then the NFL decided, we're going to do our own investigation. And I think it came out with a 120-page report, including their investigator saying, there's no there there. There. At all. There's nothing. And somehow... Zeke Elliott still got suspended his second season. He kept going back and forth, back, back and forth, back, back and forth. And in some regards, I believe that case ended up making things a lot harder for the Dallas Cowboys. Because if you remember, the NFL basically said he's going to be suspended. Jerry Jones said, now, wait a minute here. Hold on. You know what? We, we, we ain't taking this because the NFL literally said, Jerry, you're going to pay for the expenses. Not that $2 million is much money for the NFL. I think it was the principal of it. And Jerry Jones said, you know what? We got the best lawyers in the world, and we're going to fight this thing, and we're going to win. And Jerry Jones went to New York, talked to the NFL commissioner, and left with his tail between his legs and saying, we're going to pay the fine. It was that moment that I believe because Jerry was going on about not getting the contract that hold up. Maybe we should wait before we sign this contract extension for Roger Goodell. And he literally wanted to install his own puppet master or a puppet. He was going to be the puppet master. And I don't think that Roger Goodell ever forgot that. Because see, what I believe happened is that three-quarters of the NFL owners got together and said, you know what, Jerry? You're going to do what you're supposed to do, or we're going to take your team away. That's what I believe happened, because for Jerry Jones to back down and say, we're just going to pay the fine after all that, it's kind of crazy. But I'm glad to hear that Dak Prescott, that there are no criminal charges going to be filed in Dallas County against Dak Prescott. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And um, God willing, I'll see you later. I'm going to go back to watching Cowboy's Cave here. King Kong ain't got shit on me.